I could easily do it. I'm not going to like do a whole segment on it. I'm not going to bring in music and all that. But I will just say this just because you did it to me. a couple. Of when weeks. did I do it to you? I told you oh, oh, so. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Here we Rob go. Rob Parker, I told you so. Warriors. I actually said Warriors in six. I gave Dallas too much credit. But you said Dallas in seven <laughs> solely because you just couldn't get yourself to pick Steph Curry and the That's Warriors. That's not true. I know you don't care about Dallas. I know you didn't think Dallas was going to win. But just on a whim, just in case, just because who knows, maybe they can win. You picked them and you were wrong. I, I just had feel to get good? that off my chest. That's okay. Yeah, I, it's all right. I had you to get that off good. my chest. I, I, it's all right. <laughs> I, I'm not even mad at you. You know, like, like, like the one thing that people don't understand about me for real and you know this, Chris, because we're in this business, and this is what we do. We want to be right on our picks, right? Absolutely. Okay, that's, that's what we everybody do. Everybody does. And it's, and it's not every – we know we can't get everyone right, but you want right. to get a certain amount right when you feel good about, like, oh, I picked that and I got that one right. Yep. I mean, I had yep. to, a couple, uh, you know – Big ones where, you know, the, the year, Chris, I said the Lakers wouldn't make the playoffs. Remember that? And we right, had a big right. – that was a big one. We were all right. arguing and had a big show and Catino Mobley and everybody's yelling at me and, and they – oh, yeah. So when you That's get moments – a long time ago. Is that the I'm last just, time you were right? No, I'm just giving you that one because it was so heated <laughs> on the air and Greg Jennings and you and you guys and, – and, and Jason oh, so McIntyre. That must have been when we were on uh, Undisputed. Right. It day. was all you guys yelling at me. Like, I'm like I'm a sugar nut. I'm crazy. But anyway, so you want to be right, but you can't right. get them all right. And you pick that one right. And I don't know. I thought maybe, just maybe, because uh, Luca finally broke through, that maybe he had, uh, they wouldn't be able to guard him or whatever. But the interesting thing to me was uh and 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 uh was Luca admitting and and I guess and and Jeff Van Gundy and the defense and everybody was ripping him because it's just not good enough. Yeah, and and look, that that's not why they lost. I mean, no, that's a part just, of it. He does need to improve defensively. And Rob, you know this, this is what it's about. The playoffs expose your weaknesses. It's what they do. Michael Jordan, Rob, what did he say in the last dance? Detroit showed him, I'm not strong enough, right? I got to get in the weight room. I got to bulk up. You know, LeBron learned lessons. What is San Antonio, 2007? Got swept. My jump shot is, is I got to work on it. I got imp- and, and early in his career, LeBron wasn't a defender. And, and after, you know, a couple years in the league, he realized, you know what, I've got to improve on that end, and he ended up becoming a great defender. And so this is what the playoffs does. It exposes your weaknesses, and those who are really champions at heart, Rob, they learn from it, and they improve, and they come back better. If you come back the same, you know, if your if your weaknesses are exposed and you blame it on others, you blame it on your teammates. You blame it on the coach. You you know, you find somewhere to put the blame other than looking in the mirror. Then you may, you, you may never become a champion. Well, I'll say this too. And shame on you because right. nobody's, nobody's perfect. Nobody, Chris, it's like in our business. And you notice know being a writer, I don't care how long you write. Like it's, there's no perfect deal right. you're always learning you're always trying to get better am i right chris like like yeah the whole i've been writing uh professionally for 36 years and i still can learn things and tips and 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 uh make transitions better and whatnot there is no perfect thing and the same thing in sports it's the same exact thing there's always stuff to work on if you're going to go on vacation and not pick up a ball and not do anything right and not try to improve on on what needs to be done then shame on you and that's why, Rob, one of one of the one of the things that really sticks in my craw, I, I don't know if you'll agree or not, I think you will, is when players, and I say players, there's probably other people that do it, but you know, you hear a lot of players say it. When they never admit to 
a regret. You know, I, I, I have live no in a regrets. phony life. No, if you right. don't have any regrets, that's a phony we life. We all have regrets. It doesn't make you a bad person. No. It doesn't make things you that a you failure. Wish. Right. We all have done things wrong. We all went about it the wrong way at some point in time. And I, I don't, I've never understood that, Rod, why I, you hear, am I wrong? Don't you hear a lot of players say, oh, I, I, no, I, I, don't, I don't have, have regrets. regrets. I, I do regret. it the same exact way. Right. And I wouldn't do really? anything differently. Really? You oh. would? You want to you want to go play fifteen years and never win? Really? Right. Is that what you wanted? Like like you can't say that now. That doesn't mean that you didn't try your best or you didn't watch call. But sure, there could have been things I could have done uh, to right. to change my fortunes say. or whatever. And that's what it is. And it could have been, you know what? If I really had dedicated myself to my first eight or nine years and really put in work, and I get it, it's hard, Chris. You can't. Like you ask young guys, oh, they're out partying and they're chasing women or drinking or whatever. You're 23. You got a pocket full of money and you're a star athlete. I get that. But the the smart guys are able to balance it and make sure that they don't waste those years. You know, like it's a right. short ride and you have to put in the work. It's just everybody on that level is so talented. And if you don't, right. your window can open and close and you'll be like, what happened to me? Let me share, uh, I'll share an example that really, I think, Rob, drives home the point of just how close these world-class athletes are. Track and field. Mm -hmm. The difference between a gold medal, Usain Bolt was just on another level, but for the most part, the difference between a gold medal and finishing out of the medal stand is like two, three tenths of a second. That's all it is. Two, three Chris, tenths of a second. Nobody's finishing a minute behind them, right? Right. I mean, in that's a minute it in the hundred meter dash. That's what I'm talking. About. Two, three tenths of a second is the difference between gold and nothing. And that's the same in all these sports, Rob. That's one reason I do harp. I think intangibles are huge because that a lot of times can be the difference. And when we're talking about Luca, Ross, since we are talking about him, I think we I brought up, you know, regrets. One thing Luca should understand was something he did wrong is he came into camp out of shape. Yeah. And he didn't get going until like December, really. And that's when they kind of took off. And I think with Luca, I like that he brought up the defense, Rob. And I think. One of his issues defensively, because he's, look, he's never going to be Scottie Pippen defensively. No, and nobody okay. wants him to be that, Chris. It's not about that. It right. is about, come. you just said it, come in, come in, right, in shape, show your teammates you're serious, right, that you, you have an effort. Uh, right. Have an effort on defense. If other guys see the star putting up that kind of effort, it's hard for them to look. When, when you look Absolutely. over. they can't. They can, but if they look over and see their guy and go, look at this guy. He's not. He's, he's out of shape. He's resting. He's lo and he's not even. He's not even running back on defense. How right. in the world you want me to run back on defense? That it's, right. it's human nature. That's part of his problem on defense. Is that he's worn down. <laughs> he's exhausted. <laughs> so he already has trouble guarding you because he's you know kind of slow footed, but now he's tired too. And so that's what he's got to learn. And it's no slight on Luca. Like we said, everybody has to go back to the lab in the offseason. If Michael Jordan, if LeBron James went back to the lab at some point, then anybody can go back to the lab. 